All new and only on six, a woman who found her lost heirlooms on News 6 is now warning others about a banking myth. She says renting a safe deposit box does not include insurance protection. That is on you. She sat down with News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld to tell us more about this, Mike. This is one of those twilight zone things. Hi, everyone. As far <laughs> as Jennifer Morse knew, her valuables were in a safe deposit box under lock and key. And then the mystery. Her property was gone without explanation. For some reason, the bank sent those valuables to the state's unclaimed property division, listed under, you ready for this, unknown owner. Now, as we first reported, Morse found her stuff while watching News 6, but what she didn't tell us may surprise you. I don't want them to have to go through the same thing that I did. Jennifer Morse is convinced the mystery surrounding the disappearance of her necklace and each and every heirloom. This is a ring that my father wore before he passed away. Stored in a rented bank safe deposit box. My key no longer fits. Has exposed a banking out clause few consumers pay attention to. My items were not insured. Simply put, you're renting that box at your own risk. Because I asked them about insurance and they told me that I would have to go to my insurance company. She has the original key and rental lease with then Washington Mutual, now Chase. Contents of your safe box may not be fully protected against loss. The piece of jewelry that I saw go across the screen on your segment was the one piece of jewelry that I had an appraisal for and I had a picture of me wearing. Morse tells News 6 she was convinced the contents were actually insured under the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC. And the main reason for that is what they see when they walk through that front door. Dave McGuinn, president and founder of Houston-based Safe Deposit Specialists, says the Jennifer Morse case is not unique. In fact, right now, his team is investigating 17 similar cases. I can't name the banks, I can't name the clients, but I can tell you they're the big mega banks. In a recent Reader's Digest report, Why Your Safe Deposit Box Isn't Safe, McGuinn emphasized there are no absolutely 100% secure options. Unfortunately, they're the ones that are taking the position that we really don't want this service, so why are we putting a whole lot of effort into training our people? His case files are packed with banks that were rocked by flooding, fires, thieves, and yes, failed safe box protocol. The only insurance that a bank carries protects themselves if they're found to be negligent. And it's just a liability policy, but it doesn't insure the contents, it insures the banks. He suggests taking photographs of the items before you store them and get a rider on your home insurance called a personal article floater. The other option, insure through a private company like the Safe Deposit Box Insurance Company. You don't have to tell them what you have in your box. You don't have to have appraisals. You don't have to have any proof it's in there. You just select an amount that you feel will, will basically cover you in case something happens to your stuff. Can you believe mm. that? No. no. Yeah, McGuinn has prepared 30 questions. You guys are going to love this. He calls it a bank security report card. Let's put it up on the screen for you just for a second. He says if your bank or credit union answers yes to all or most of those questions, you can feel good about putting your stuff there. 30 is excellent, 25 to 29 acceptable. Anything lower, uh-uh, check another mm. institution. And we have those set up for you on clickorlando.com. Let's see if your bank passes the test. So and you put these things in a safe deposit box I because know. it's it called safe in the safe. word. Yes. Um, but you recommend getting a writer on those contents. Right. How much will that cost you? Well, that's a good question. Uh, News 6 found that it's actually cheaper when you have the property in a bank safe deposit box. The rates will vary depending on the stuff you have in there, the items. Mm -hmm. But the major takeaway, folks, tonight is the bank doesn't cover your property. That's up to you. And I know wow. it's a safe box. But them's the rules. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to get a safe in my own home because my chances seem to be better that way. Yep, but your insurance will be, your home insurance will be a little bit higher. So it's it, a chance I'm willing to take. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> Let's that's get thank results you, together. Yeah, I know. Right? Okay. Okay. I'm yep. not angry at you, I know. Mike. It's, You're just telling us that's the That's why we're letting so you So know. thankful, though, she was able to spot that picture oh. of her oh necklace. Wasn't that a great story? Yes, that on really News was. 6. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Mike. Sure. <laughs> we do want to